What's up friends, welcome back to Pattaya in Thailand. Today I want to share with you my traveling trading setup. I've done a couple of changes recently because I'm using a MacBook now. I used to use a Windows PC that was working well with the tablet and everything around. I've done a video on that in the past. But I gotta change some things up because it's not working with the Mac and I'll show you my new traveling trading setup. Pretty cool stuff. So let's dive right in. Alright, so I've got my setup here over here at the back. I'll show you in detail what that's about. I like to, by the way, have the view here when I work. So this desk here, this table was usually the chair was on the other side. I put it this side to be able to do the view here at the back while I work. It's, in my opinion, a lot better. But let's dive right into what that is. Okay, so here on the left, we've got my MacBook M1 Pro. So the new MacBook that went out late last year in 2021. Uh, it's a new chip, the M1 chip which is very fast. Everything is done there really quickly. You can do trading, of course. You can even play some games and it's super fast. So this is working really well. This is really good. I'm really happy about the screen. It's also pretty big. It's a 14 inch screen. So pretty good. Now, you know how I like to have multiple monitors. You work faster with this. Everything is done better. So before I had my tablet, a Tab S7 Plus that was connected to the computer. Uh, with the MacBook though, they have an app that does that connect your tablet to your macbook it's very slow very laggy because it's an android tablet and the macbook is uh, not the same system so it, it didn't work well i tried it for a few times it was always laggy and stuff so not worth it for me i ended up buying this monitor here it's a U Perfect monitor, so the company called U Perfect. It's a 15.6 inch, so pretty big, bigger than the MacBook. But this is also 4K, so really good resolution there. Uh, that monitor is just there, it's connected to the MacBook with the USB port, right over here. At the back, they have a couple of plugs here that you can use. They have a USB one, they have a HDMI one, they have headphone plug. So you can connect all your things there. This monitor is around $300 or something, it's pretty cheap. And it sort of comes with this stand over here which you can just adjust and move around. Kind of nice to carry also around. If you're gonna travel, that's really good. You can put in your suitcase like this and you have no chance to really damage it or something. So that stand is kind of nice. So something else you can do with this screen is you can actually use it in the other direction, in vertical, which is pretty cool. You can take the screen out of the protector here, of the stand, that's good. You can just carry it like this, put it in the stand too if you want because there's some screws here at the back for a stand. All you need is basically a pen like this, any kind of pen. And there's actually a small hole here on the monitor, right over here on the corner, you see the hole? So that hole allows you to put it in a different direction. You put your pen here at the back, and there you go, you've got the now the screen in that direction. Compared to the Mac, it's pretty giant. So it's good to carry around. Again, $300 for this, super cheap. I think it's very affordable for a 4K monitor. Actually, you know what? You don't even need the stand for this monitor. You just have to put the pen at the back over here, and here we go. So any kind of pen you have with you, you can do this, and that leaves you free from the stand. The stand is it's kind of big. I'm not a fan of it that much, but it's really good to carry it around, so I definitely use it for that. But if you just want to put the monitor on your desk like this, pen at the back to the hole, and then you're done with it. Pretty good, pretty portable. All you need for this again is a USB-C wire, which you can have pretty much everywhere. All the phones use that these days anyway. So you're pretty much good to go with this. Okay, pretty cool setup. Now, something else I haven't really talked about so far in this channel is the microphone. Now, I always carry a microphone with me when I travel. It's just a must. I used to have this big, chunky microphone. Now, I have just a small one here. It's a Rode microphone, the small one like this. I'll put the link below the video to be sure I have the right one, so you know which type it is, exactly which model. Uh, but it's really, really portable. It sits on a small stand here, which you can remove, and you can carry this around. It's really, really small. Uh, connect this to USB-C on your laptop also have some headphones connected to it. Now, why would you need the microphone? Well, first of all, I do videos and stuff. That's one way. But also, if you just want to record things on your computer, you want to do screen recordings of your trades, or you just want to do some Zoom calls, that microphone is really good for that. This is, I think, under $100, so it's very cheap, and you're able to pretty much do all the calls with it, and you're able to uh, record some things with it, and that's really good. You know, personally, I think that the video trading journals are way underrated. I used to do this a lot on YouTube before when I began to 
trade some of full time. I would do this kind of very short trade recap on YouTube. Not for people necessarily, but for myself only. To be able to kind of go back on my trades, learn some things from them. And I think that was really good. I learned some things really well back then. All these things that I was kind of not sure about, I would be able to internalize them better and learn them better. And I think that was really a big key to my trading journey. So if you want to take these recordings of your trades, that's definitely good to do. Sure, you could use a microphone in your computer, but it's always better to have something external for that. It's just better quality. And overall, it's definitely worth it. So hope that makes sense. Again, I will put the details for all these things I've talked about here in the YouTube description. If you want to have a look at it, find these things online. Uh, you can have a look at this for sure. I'll put all of this below so you can check it out. Leave me your thoughts. How you like this setup? I want to hear your thoughts as always. Do you like these things or not? And that being said, make sure you subscribe. I publish videos like this three to four times per week, depending on my schedule and how busy I am. And I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.